Hey there, Tong Vu here, experiential product specialist for Samsung. And you may be wondering why I am at a gas station pump in the middle of a cold night. Well, I decided to try something different with this tutorial and show you an unknown Samsung life hack that you could do every day with one of our Samsung services. That service would be Samsung Pay. This service allows you to load any credit card cards onto a compatible Galaxy smartphone and then use the phone to make any mobile purchases at any credit card terminals where you would normally swipe your card. So in theory, Samsung Pay works almost anywhere. And using the service is as easy as opening up the app by swiping up from the home screen, choosing which card you want to use by swiping left or right, then using a pin, fingerprint, iris scanner, or facial recognition to initiate the transaction. And finally, to finish the, tra the transaction, you hover your phone over the credit card terminal at the part where you physically swipe your card. And once the transaction is complete, you just made a safe and secure purchase using Samsung Pay. So why is this trick beneficial to use at the pump? For one, Samsung Pay works almost anywhere where you normally swipe your card. Unfortunately, one of the places where it doesn't work is at a gas station pump. Normally, you would have to go inside the store to use Samsung Pay to pay for your gas. With this trick, you no longer have to do that. So it saves you time and makes life at the pump more convenient. Secondly, once you get this trick down, paying at the pump earns you Samsung rewards points. And if you use it multiple times, it will help you stay at platinum level each month where you earn four times the points for every purchase. But the most important benefit is safety and security. Did you know that Samsung Pay, with its Samsung Knox security measures built into the phone, along with biometrics, using virtual card numbers, and tokenization encryption, makes it safer than carrying around and using physical credit cards? Well, it's true. Well, it's true. And now you could carry less cards in your wallet and in the event of a wallet or purse theft, the hurt of loss will be less impactful. So Samsung Pay uses a technology called Magnetic Secure Transmission, or MST for short, which is a little antenna inside your phone that sends out a signal that says, hey, this is a credit card swipe when asked by the credit card terminal. This process is usually initiated by the cashier inside the store. Problem is, at the pump, there is no one to do that. Instead, there is a switch deep inside the credit card slot that activates the transaction once a credit card is inserted and then removed. To bypass that, you would have to use a card similar in size and shape of a credit card and preferably one that, ha that does not have a magnetic strip on it, like an old hotel key card or something similar to this. The motion you go through to make this work is to first have the Samsung Pay app open and ready for transaction. That means opening it up and using a pin or fingerprint or one of the biometrics to get it started. You then insert the key into the key card into the credit card slot to activate the switch. You then remove the key card when the terminal prompts you to do so and quickly hover your phone over the slot until the transaction is processed and authorized. Now if everything goes correctly, the terminal will ask you if this is a credit card or debit card purchase. You can now proceed with the transaction like you normally would. And once you're done, a notification will pop up on your phone that shows you you just made a Samsung Pay purchase for a certain dollar amount at such and such gas station. All right, 
are you, are you ready to see this process at work? Let me show you. Okay, so I have my key card right here. I have my app, Samsung Pay app, open on my phone. I'm, what I'm going to do is initiate the transaction using my fingerprint, insert the card into the slot, remove it, and then hover. Okay, so let's see if it works. Initiate. 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 Insert. Hover. Shows up as a credit card or debit transaction. As you can see right here, I'm going to go ahead and click on credit. It's going to ask for my zip code. I'm going to put it in there. All right. Now I'm going to quickly pump some gas. Restore lost performance and gas mileage to no. Receipt, no. Pump some gas. And then voila, it shows up as a notification that I just made a Samsung purchase on my phone. There you have it guys. Pretty easy, right? Now before I conclude this training video, I have to go through a couple quick disclaimers. One, this trick does not always work and may just work at some locations. From my experience, this has worked well for me at Shell and HEB gas stations. Other stations are hit and miss. Usually when I find one near my home, I tend to stick with it. If I am away from home, I will also try to find ones that, will, that I know will work. Now second disclaimer, this trick is not a Samsung official feature that the company actively promotes, nor will the company do so in the future. This tip, this tip is more like a life hack and if you do decide to use it, it will be at your own discretion. So there you have it. How do you Samsung pay at the gas pump? Now go out there and try it out. Then you will soon be on your way to more convenient purchases, more Samsung reward points, and one step closer to have a more secure wallet on your phone. Thank you for viewing this tutorial video. I hope you were able to learn something. Till next time. Bye now.